Today's Code Enforcement Minute deals with a public nuisance that has been making a comeback in the last couple of years. Just when we thought bed bugs were nothing more than a thing of the past, reduced to urban legend status, we've come to find out that they've joined the mainstream. No longer relegated to living in city roadhouses and low-end motels, bed bugs are plaguing Americans of all walks of life, taking up residence in apartments and houses throughout the country. To prevent falling prey to these little insects, it is important to know a little bit about them. Bedbugs are small, parasitic insects that feed off human blood or other warm-blooded animals. An adult bedbug is about the size of Lincoln's head on a penny. They usually live inside mattresses where they have a convenient access to a human food source. Bedbugs are nocturnal and typically bite people while they sleep. They crawl out just before dawn and bite, feeding on the blood of their host for about five minutes. Most people don't feel the actual bite, but only begin to itch after the bed bug has already returned to its home. So what can you do to find out if you have a bed bug problem? Here are some telltale signs. Bug bites. If you find itchy red welts on your skin without really knowing how you got them, you may have bed bugs. But don't let this be your only warning sign. Some people have no reaction to these bug bites and never develop a visible skin rash. Inspect your home. Check in their favorite hiding places. Bed bugs commonly hide in mattresses, carpets, behind peeling paint or wallpaper, and in crevices in wooden furniture like headboards, picture frames, and inside drawers. Check your mattress and box spring around it and underneath, including between the pad and sheets and in any folds in the linens. Check nearby curtains, carpeting, and furniture. Placing double-sided carpet tape in strategic locations around your bed or bed bug interceptors under bed legs can help trap the bugs and make it easy to spot them. Even if you never see live ones, bed bugs look like mini cockroaches, about one quarter inch in size, about the size of an apple seed. The presence of their cast exoskeleton or evidence of their feces which looks like dark reddish or brown spots is a sure sign that you have a bed bug problem. Bed bugs usually stay close to their host, so a general rule of thumb to remember when looking for bed bugs in your bedroom is to search every nook and cranny within 10 to 15 feet of your bed. Nevertheless, please remember that bed bugs do not confine themselves to living only in bedrooms. They will take up residence anywhere a host is available including other rooms in your home, so be sure to check your couches and other furniture throughout. Bed bugs can be introduced into your home in a number of ways, but you can be assured that bed bug infestations are not caused by poor hygiene or lack of cleanliness. Bed bugs are expert hitchhikers, and they can enter your home when travelers unknowingly bring them home in luggage after staying in an infested hotel or motel room. Bed bugs can also find their way into your home through secondhand furniture or mattresses. Taking these measures can help prevent the spread of bed bugs to your home. When traveling, before booking a room, check websites such as www.bedbugregistry.com for bed bug reports on hotels and motels. This website contains unverified user submitted reports that can offer you some insight on the hotel you choose to book. When you arrive at your hotel, keep your luggage in your vehicle and inspect your hotel room as you would your home before settling down. Keep your luggage off the ground as far away from beds and sofas as possible. Before vacating your hotel room, be sure to place all your clothing and personal linens, both used and unused, in resealable plastic storage bags. These bags can be purchased in your local grocery store. After traveling, unpack and empty your suitcase outside, shake out your clothes, and put them through a laundry dryer cycle. The heat from the dryer should kill any bed bugs hiding in your clothes. Be sure not to overload the dryer. Vacuum your luggage and vehicle thoroughly. Remove the vacuum bag, seal it in a plastic bag, and discard it in an outdoor trash container. If you plan to use secondhand furniture, Inspect the furniture before you buy it and make sure it is fumigated and free of bed bugs, their eggs, and larvae before taking it home. Never pick up abandoned furniture, such as couches or mattresses. Even if these items appear to be in good condition, bed bugs may be the reason they were discarded. I hope that this Code Enforcement Minute provided you with valuable information that will help you prevent the spread of bed bugs to your home. 
We know that many of these recommendations can temporarily inconvenience you, but taking these precautionary measures may spare you from becoming a victim of bed bugs. For more information about how to prevent or eradicate bed bugs, please call Neighborhood Services at 818-548-3700 or email us at ns at ci.glendale.ca.us. For NSTV, I'm Renee Sada, reminding you to sleep tight and don't let the bed bugs bite.